card candy. Uh, what are we doing today? We're doing uh, fruit punch. Fruit punch? Fruit punch uh, tie dye. Ooh. So 24 plus 8 is. 30. How much are you adding into this one? So it's 8 pounds of corn syrup and 16 pounds of sugar. 24 pound batch. That does. That sounds like a lot. It says a lot. It is. <laughs> it is a lot. Can't lie. So how many colors do you have to add in this one? Uh, so it's like, it's white if you want to count that as a color, and then we do six different, like we do uh, the rainbow, so it's red, orange, yellow, blue, green, and purple. Yeah, you were telling me earlier, like, it's the closest thing you can get to tie-dye is the rainbow, so do you think it, do you think it represents tie-dye? I think it's close enough to, yeah. like, in terms of what, like, the other options are, it would be, it would end up looking, like, brown if we tried to mix the colors in a way. So I think having them separated in a way, but all there too is pretty much the best of both worlds. Just a little bit more. Yeah. To see. And is this like almost like every batch, like the tie dye one, or is this one a little bit? Um, it's more work because there's a lot of moving parts. Like I got, you got to pull white. So 60% of it gets pulled to white. And then the last 40% gets broken up into six different colors that all need to get mixed together. And then they get segmented with white strips in between them. And then we oh, fill it with God. white. And this is a, this is going to be a lot. It's a video. bit of a doozy. It's a yeah. bit of a doozy. Okay. Math? Yup. Quick math. Quick 48. Math. It's not like I don't do it every day. <laughs> You're going to need another bag of sugar? Yes, but I grabbed it. Yeah, a whole nother bag. Whole oh, nother bag. Just dump the whole thing in. That's a little bit more than 16 pounds. <laughs> For the cream batches, we basically put in a whole bag of these because it's 24 pounds of sugar. Look at that. There's only a drop of sugar in there. Just a drop. I made sure to not go over any kernel. Exactly. <laughs> Cream of tartar for taste. It's not for taste. <laughs> for texture. One drop. One one scoop. One teaspoon. One That's what teaspoon. We put. Yep. Nice. Alright. What's going on? Put the candy on the stove. Oh, Don't we're stuck. stuck. We're stuck. <laughs> Two quarts of water. Yeah, you. And the batch is ready pretty much to be. Yeah, just gotta mix it up. Oh, you get to mix that up? Yeah. Are you ready for the tie dye? The one Super favorite? ready for the tie dye, dude. Is it stressful or is it not as bad as. What, the tie dye? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of colors to it, so. Yeah, it's a lot. It's kind of stressful if you're like you're working with the colors, but if you're not, it's pretty easy. And every time you say that you have to have, to have like an applesauce consistency or something, go that along. The forbidden applesauce. <laughs> Don't eat it. And then after this heats up, then you guys add the flavor. Yeah, yeah. All right, on to adding the flavor. Yep. Is the temperature at 310? 310, well actually 311. It goes up, but we stop it at 310. It's like, honestly, anything 310, 315. Right. It's all hard candy by the time it dries. And what flavor is going into this one? Fruit, tropical punch. I keep wanting to say fruit punch, but it's technically tropical punch. Fruit punch. And we uh, did a little product testing. I think we're gonna do five shots. Five shots. We did the watermelon one earlier and that one smelled amazing. Yeah. That, I, I don't think anything I've smelled like was that strong. That one tops it, yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty strong. That's a nice, like, that's a nice smelling strong too. There's some other ones that are strong, but it's not necessarily a good thing. This is a little hectic but I think that makes it more fun. Yeah, it was good. I think could have been worse. We uh, we do this maybe like once a month. 
yeah the tie dye hard candy so like the the systematic approach to it is not necessarily there <laughs> uh, kind of just like flying off the seat of our pants but like it always looks nice by the time it's pulled out so even so when it looks if you had to explain what happened was it just that the the colors got left on the table too long yeah so uh the cooling table is, is not normally that cold it's normally kind of hot but it was down to like 85 90 degrees and just through having to pull the sugar to get it white for like the base of it it uh like the colors sit there for a while and they mm. got rather cold <laughs> and i was having to use my uh big muscles. candy making muscles yeah. to uh I need to get somebody to help me pour this. I was about to do it by myself. Terry's in here. Yeah, flavor's out and we just gotta go with it. Okay. You excited, Terry? I'm so excited. Did Wanna somebody tell it? Steve? Yep, yep. Steve okay. Rubens. He was finishing up his marshmallows. Okay, do we have hot water in here? We do. It's definitely warmer than last time. This should be a breeze. Yeah. Yes. I but not the... cold enough to cool down the candy. <laughs> A warm breeze. Yes. A tropical breeze oh. to go with our tropical punch flavor. Mm. Just too convenient. Uh huh. Alright, I was telling Cooper to give me the rundown of what happened. Got a little dicey the last, last yeah, batch. Yeah, a little cold. It's a little cold. Temperature matters with candy. I had to uh, <laughs> stop talking for once and focus on what I was doing <laughs> to get Aww. here get the batch out but it all came out so we're good for you it looks pretty it does it came out good it does look sometimes very the most difficult ones come out looking the best i feel like that's the funniest thing about these tie-dye batches it's like it looks like such a mess at certain points on this table uh -huh. but then you look at the end product and you're like oh my god yeah. wow uh -huh. that's freaking gorgeous yeah. and you're like how did that come out of there well it's because i mean everything basically gets pulled straight so you end up with some pretty stripes yeah so what's the main goal here? Okay, so 60-40, 60 percent of it is going to be white because we use strips in between the colors and we use it as a blob in the middle of it. Okay. And it's so sticky already <laughs> on our paddle. This table's nice and warm now. Uh -huh. That's what we get. That's what we get. What you doing over here, Steve? Getting the last of the, the, last of the yellow. Oh, yellow. Oh, yellow. Oh, yellow, yeah. A little green. A little green. There we go. What's your next color of choice? Blue? Blue. I'm going to put a little bit of shortening on two paddles and see if that helps. Now we got all the colors? We got them, I think. Got them. What's your plan here, Steve? You're gonna mix them all together. My plan. Put them up first. Mix them all together first, I feel like, and then you can kind of see what sugar is taking up by it. Right. And then you work from the outside where we have room. So I'm gonna start with. I think this is red or maybe orange. Orange. Or start with orange. So I have this section, and then I'm gonna go through, mix it up, so I don't get dye all over the table. Right. If and you want, I'll get those scissors and clean them, and then you can keep mixing. So then I'm going to grab this little section right here because it's close enough to the outside. Oops, we're going to mix this. With a pair of scissors. Clean right scissors. Now. Kind of literally, like I've been, I've been grabbing it. Find that place where you can kind of get a little traction. Uh, stick into the table though, so that's super fun. Just by watching, you can't tell. It is a little chaotic, so it's hard for them to talk. So I'm just gonna have you guys watch. Just but wait. It's, it's gonna look so good when we're done. <laughs> yeah, and it's just it is. Uh, they don't do it as often as they do other candies, so it's very you hard know. to like get a pattern going when you don't do something. It's not systematic as, at yeah. all. <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. sure if they were to do this like once a week, it would get down to a routine. We were abstract. We yeah. would have it down to a system like of, yeah, it would be a lot more. Yeah, it's it like snowflakes, everyone is different. Yeah. That's the love though. That is the love. And that's true. Entirety. And that's a pretty blue. 
Nice, yeah, nice that like cerulean, dark ocean blue. It is very pretty. I'm gonna give you these scissors. I'm gonna mix up these two colors, okay? Maybe. Okay. And then I'm gonna go fast forward when you have all these colors mixed. Sounds good. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. <laughs> Right. We're interrupting. It's not all done yet. <laughs> what happened? Um, somehow the purple did not get added. So we need the purple. That's yeah, it. I got it purple. So what we had two oranges and zero purple. So what we're going to do is well, we married together the oranges. We right. got a big orange now. Big orange. Got a big orange. And this time I'm just going to do this old school, the way it used to be. We didn't we didn't always use spoons. Sometimes you just mixed it. You kind of need it in. Freehand, yeah. You gotta just be smart about it though, because it's easy to get the color on the table. That oh, way. yeah. And, and on your gloves. And I kind of will. Everywhere. I kind of promise that I'll do it. <laughs> so, if I'm dumb about it, it's my apologies. I can see the purple <laughs> coming in together. I mean, the last time, I feel like I've only mm -hmm. seen mm -hmm. Cooper mm -hmm. has to do this one time before. He just got a little bit on his gloves and nothing on the table, so you guys did the same. Didn't we do this for Popular Mechanics? Yeah. And we looked like we knew what we were doing. And Popular Mechanics didn't let us talk during it, and it was like, it's so stressful. Yeah, that's like, hard oh, to not man. communicate. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you doing, Cooper? You have to bring that so over there? Yeah, this white's going to get pulled. It's going to be the center, but it also, like, separates the colors. Mm. Very interesting process. Okay, so some of the good. Some of the finished candy they did is already done over there in the corner, but we are not going to show you. Oh, come on. Is it okay if I look? You can. Oh, thank but you. But they can't see anything until it's all done with dispatch. Yeah, you don't want to spoil how funny it looks right now to how good it looks. I know. You can't do that. Let them sit through the process with us. So, now that all the colors are mixed together, this is... It's starting to come together. You can see... You can see a tie-dyed, colorful rainbow yeah. pattern. <laughs> yeah. Slowly forming. So they got the white. That's going to be pulled. If it's it can come off the table. The color uh, Roy G. Biff. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. That spells Roy G. Biff. I never remember that. All right, I'm going to get it over here. All right, Cooper, do you think... Uh, you think this is one of your favorite ones to do? <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting one. I think it's I think it's very pretty, so yeah, I do like to do it. It's a lot of moving parts. Yeah, it is a lot of moving parts. All at parts. the same time. Yeah. And if they don't line up, then it's awkward. <laughs> like last batch, this was ready, but the other stuff was cold. It's like Got cute working together. Two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. Two, uh, it's a fun candy reference Two. for that. Two sugar specks in a, in a hard candy. In a hard candy. There you go. So <laughs> cutie. No, uh, so fast. So, oh my goodness. It's because that table's so hot. Yes. Maybe. Very much so. But we'll be able to get this nice and white. And not only that, but you won't have to worry about it being hard like the last time. True. <laughs> this wasn't the hard part. It was the color. But I think with that, the heated table, it's going to be... Oh, yeah, no, the heated table helps say. a lot, but it's funny because it also kind of made it harder. <laughs> yeah, but that's all right. Everything. This, this is the last one of the tie-dye ones. There's so. just two blue raspberries after this, and those are super easy. I don't even think I add coloring. I just pull half of it because <laughs> the flavoring itself is so blue. Are these staying warmer? Yes, this yes time? they are. Okay, so there's Especially no this one, because it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the oh. yellow one looks very small compared yeah, to the Yeah, it one. does. This, this is the one that got all the food. This is the runt of the litter. Yeah, that's okay. Try to, try to shorten these up a little bit. But it's definitely, you would say, it's going to be... This one's going to be a little better than the last one. It'll be easier, yeah. Okay. I know Cooper had a little bit of a problem pulling it last time. Yeah, when it's cold, it's like trying to pull a brick. Not that easy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> I've never tried, but... Let me go find you a, or a rock, either one. <laughs> Try to pull it. Pulling a rock. Well, the colors look good. Yeah. So now we're adding the white. Uh-huh. Oh. Cooper's got to add. We'll switch spots, Coop. Just a dab of water. 
Does the water just kind of like, it's like almost act like a glue? It's like candy glue. That's exactly nice. what it is. Yeah, we're a lot more organized this time. Yeah, it's better. And then nice candy glue. Mm-hmm. It's also, isn't water also like glue for like clay and stuff like that? Yep. Water's an adhesive. And even like for bread dough and stuff. Oh. All right, so or it's pie, pie crust. Huh. If you happen to be a baker. A baker or and a, a baker. candy maker. Yes. A when baker I, or a candy maker. When I was a little kid, I thought I would be a baker. Really? But the hours, I don't know, you got to get up super early. Yeah, you do. Yeah, here I, I can sleep until 5. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so it's better. Wow. They have to get up at 2 o'clock or something. 2 or 3 in the morning. Because your stuff's supposed to be all baked by the time you open at 6, depending on your your bakery hours. Bakery. Bakery and cakery. What mug is that? Lofty Pursuits from our friend Greg in Tallahassee, Florida. Mm. Hey, it's yeah. like a very nice mug. Yeah. It is a nice mug. A lot mug. of people that watch our <laughs> channel watch Greg's channel. Yeah. Hi, Greg. How's salt. it going? Hi. Salt salt. Steve's back there. I'm sure hey, Steve, we're ready for that white log. Right here in the middle. Please. If it's not too much trouble, or you know what, oh, even oh. if it is. Oh, there it Touchdown. is. Oh, we need a little more water for our. water. For our seal up that hot dog. <laughs> and then you pinch that blob you just put in there and you wrap what we had on the outside around it. Softer. So much oh. softer. <laughs> this is going to be just like a joy. This is a dream. <laughs> dream small. <laughs> I <laughs> dream small. <laughs> I do dream small. And they all come true. <laughs> Ooh, it's beautiful looking good. Thing. It's coming together. Oh yeah, you can already see that it's a lot okay. warmer than last time. Now I'm out for reals. You leaving? Terry out. Well, see. I'm leaving the room. Oh, okay. <laughs> Terry. Anytime, Coop. Oh. What a nice lady. The best. <laughs> She's the best. Oh. So now you give us the rundown. Is it better than last? <sighs> yeah. Is it, is it better than all the other ones? No, but we'll take it. Okay, we're gonna give Pooper some, you know, focus time. He's just going to pull this out. It's definitely coming out. Would you say it's coming out easier than the last one? Yeah. Looks wise. This is definitely in a process that's, I feel like, very stressful. <laughs> on the sidelines, just like, oh man. I know, will it make it? Get there. This, this the first bit, it's like the edges of these like clear pieces right, yeah, that have been sitting out like that right there. You can see the purple is not wanting to come out. It's just not wanting to come out. But for, I think for the most part, you got all the other colors. I have, it. Yeah. Other than yellow. Yellow is deep in there. And then for the most part, does this, does this, having this fire here, does that one help a lot? Like, if you do put it closer, will it kind of, for sure, melt it a little bit? Yep. Yeah, no, it, it's like the only reason that we can keep this amount of sugar going is that there's a heater right there. Yeah. That's also why we flip it so that it gets all the sides. The heat distribution from there isn't like it's just all going to one side. And then we'll head on over to Brian Station once this gets pulled out a little bit so you can see all the colors. Because right now it's still just like the cream. Her nods blue, blue, orange, and white. That's what I see right there. Purple's coming up soon. Purple's already in there. Yeah, it just got added. Yeah, now we're cruising. Now we're cruising. Yeah, this looks way better. This is uh, much easier back here. <laughs> yeah. Pull out. I can actually like conversate. Yeah, I'll give a I'll give a little brief mention. The last one it was just very much like stressful, so like Cooper was pretty much like, all right, dude, I just, I need to focus on this. Now. I really need to focus. <laughs> oh, I gotta try and keep up with it. And I totally get that, dude. I that's it's tough to have your mind on one thing and then also try to talk to somebody. It's not even like I'm thinking about anything while I'm doing this, but it's like, I think if I start thinking, it starts to hinder me being able to do this. Like, <laughs> right. 
can't think about something else while I do this. I just need to have my brain be like empty and just like go with the feeling of what the sugar's telling me. What's the sugar telling you this time? Uh, it's happy. It's happy. It's doing its thing. Brian, let's see a nice, uh... Let's see the nice twist that you did last time. I don't know if I can do it. Twist it. I like it. the candy cane in a way, and it just makes it really good. If you don't want, I just want to. We'll, we'll show them one piece twisted. So if you guys, work, if you guys order this one, and you guys get a piece that looks twisted like that. Just know it was from this video, and Brian, you can thank Brian for it. Very pretty pieces. Yeah, dude. Thank you. Yes. In person, Personal. please. <laughs> I think you can see at the end of this. Like I do. It'll be a fun looking duck because there's a bunch of different flavors. Oh, I know. That's a nice. with a lot of colors. We're excited for the duck. Oh, yeah. How long do these batches usually take you? Uh, start to finish, it's probably like an hour. It takes us about 30 ish minutes to pull it out. Sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. So it's like the time for it to sit on the kettle and cook. So, like, yeah, like an hour. I'd say probably the average. Yeah, that's not too bad. Cause we do eight batches a day because we got about eight hours of work. That's without any mistakes. That is without any mistakes. Which normally well, I mean, rarely, is the case. There's very, very rarely mistakes. We do pretty good. Yeah. But there's, yeah, there's always there's one here and there. But never like anything that's like horribly like time sensitive yeah. stuff. Not, not like end of the world stuff. No. no. Just little problems here and there. Fixable problems, I should I should say. Nothing unfixable, really. This is definitely one of the most, like, pretty colors. One of the more, like, appealing to the eye. It is. Hands down, the, down the most, like, effort we put into the, the, like, look of a candy, so. Yeah, Brian was just saying, so I was standing right here. Just kind of elbowing me right in the head. <laughs> That's okay. Taking shots. What All you, sacrifice. That's what you get. Sacrificing myself for the shot. That's what you get. Being a candy maker, you gotta sacrifice your body a little bit. I mean, Cooper's getting like hurt right here, pretty much. With this thing being on, and it's just. It's very I feel my right hair here. burning off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's so warm though. But it's what keeps yeah, the I can sugar feel it moving. Too, and I'm just on the side. Yeah, my hand like right here, it's like red, you can see it's straight red. <laughs> it's red. Oh yeah. We're cooking out here. I'm getting a uh, sunburn in, in freaking February. Inside. Yeah, inside. <laughs> Love it. Why pay for spray tan? Right. You can just get a gas burn. <laughs> Sit in front of the gas fire burn. Sit in front of this heater. Oh, this is looking more purple and Throw some of the final product now. Then they got the finished product right here. The good thing about this is every piece is different. Right, Brian? Yeah. That's what we were just saying earlier. You said that it's like a, it's like every single piece is different. Wow. Like yeah. literally, yeah, I could go through every single one of those pieces and try and find ones that are exactly the same, and I think it would take me, uh, it would take me my whole life. I don't think there is one. I don't think there is. Which is very fun. Like I think that that. Okay. Yeah. That looks cool. We're getting down to the end. Yo, how's the end looking for uh? For a bunny. It's looking good. Nice. It's pretty fun. Ooh. And we got a little blue, the green, the yellow, and the orange in this one. Now, if you're watching this YouTube video and you've been catching up with our live streams, we have been giving these away. Yeah, Coop's still pretty warm, nice. so it's moving, but... Cutie pie! And let's see what... We'll see the other ones. Why don't you show them off for us, Coop? 
So this was the last one from the other tie-dye batch that we did. Okay. Very good. Then we got, I did a duck out of watermelon today, so a little duck. I think this was during a live stream. Yeah, I think so. Yep, so if you were in there. And then the last duck was the first batch of the day, which was lemonade. That one, I like this one too. Well, good job, Delish. Now, last but not, certainly not least, it's time for a taste test. TT. TT, let's do a TT. Right there, boom. That yeah, one. That's yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good one. one. That's nice. I got blue, purple, orange, little red, yellow. And the thing is, each flavor, each color is not a different flavor, so no, it's all, all the all tropical punch. Yep, but a bunch of different fun colors. Yep. Right. Cheers. Cheers. It, it's got a nice. It's tropical. Like, it just tastes <laughs> like a. It's like hard to describe. Pick out the fruit. That's like. Like coming through almost. yeah, yeah it's, it's just like tropical punch it's fruit punch it's really good it is very and good. it's beautiful so definitely go get you some would you recommend getting some oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i would too yeah we're a lot more organized this time <laughs>